So today what we're going to do is look at how you can make a video recording of your whiteboard along with your voice and then get that video to your students. So the first thing you want to do once you get uh, your ViewSonic open and you're on the landing page is come over here and click the little down arrow. And then I'm going to click on Cloud Drive because we need to connect this to our Google Drive account. And then I'm going to add my account to this view board, which I've already done this, but I think it defaults to sign you out after 30 minutes, so I'm doing it again. I think you can change that though too if you want to keep yourself signed into it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign myself in. Um, bonus tip, the keyboard that you guys have, that um, we, I had, they plugged the little USB dongle in my classroom into the little computer that's connected to this ViewSonic, which made it so that the keyboard didn't work. So I unplugged the dongle and I plugged it directly into one of the USB ports on the ViewSonic. All right, so now I'm uh, signed in to this. Let's go back home. Let's just double check that I got that right. I'm gonna click Cloud Drive again. And there we go, there's my account, so I'm signed in. Let's head over to the whiteboard. Okay, um, I changed the color of the background right here. Uh, if you guys wanna know how to do that. Uh, it's the very bottom left right here. There's a little icon within the circle there. You click that to change the color of the background. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is you need something that has a microphone attached to it. So I have this set of wired headphones and I just plug them directly into one of the USB ports over here on the front of it and this will pick up my voice. I didn't have to do any like installation or anything like that. It just automatically uh, picked it up and installed it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to make a recording really quick and so you can see that my voice works with it and everything. To make a recording, click on the little arrow over here. And then this button, this says my with the video camera next to it, we'll click that. Some options will pop up over here on the right. I'm just going to hit the check mark button. It gives you a little countdown. Okay, so right now you can see that it's recording. So anything that I write on the board um, is going to be part of my recording. And then this right now is picking up my voice. Obviously it would sound better if I was wearing these or having it closer to my mouth, uh, but it is picking up my voice. Okay, when I'm done with my recording, I'm gonna hit the stop button. Okay, so right now you can see that it's recording. So anything that I write on the board um, is gonna be... Okay, so that's the recording and it's working. Over here on the bottom right, where it has a little disc looking button, I'm gonna click that. <clears throat> Let's call this... Um... All right, call it PUHSD. Yes. File. Uh, it asked me if I wanted to replace the old file. Uh, okay, file is saved. So now that I've saved that video to this ViewSonic, I'm going to get that file over to my Google Drive. So to do that, I'm going to go back home. And then over here where it says folders, I'm going to click that. And then it'll come up with just all of the stuff that's on this ViewSonic. And uh, there is, oh, there it is. I need a QHSD MP4, so it's right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click that once, and then right here, there's a button that looks like there's two pieces of paper, that's the copy button. So I click that, and I've copied the file. Okay, so I'm in my Google Drive right now, and this little button here that's next to the X is the paste, so I'm gonna paste it. Right now I'm currently in my Descubre 1, that's my Spanish 1 book, so I'm just gonna put it in there for now. Okay, so now it says copy success. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump over to my uh, computer and see if that file is there. So let's take a look. All right, so I have jumped onto my Google Drive and it just so happens that the file shows up right here for quick access, which is really nice. But I believe I tried to put it in my Descubre 1 folder. So let's take a look and see if it's in there. There it is right there. Okay, so right now you can see that. There's the file. So all I gotta do is open that and see if the audio worked. There you go. So you can hear my voice. Not before I even picked up the microphone. Let's just jump forward and see if it's louder when I pick it up. And then uh, now that you have your video file, just in the top right, click the three little dots, and you can share it with your students. And that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Adios.